Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Blu-ray Maniac coming at you on the Horoscope channel. Uh, this week's theme is uh, Zombie Week. And um, I uh, didn't, uh, wasn't sure if anybody else had picked this movie yet or not for this week. I don't believe anyone has. Um, but um, the movie I picked was... Um, Dawn of the Dead, the remake. Um, for um, as far as zombie film uh, remakes are concerned, um, out of all the remakes, uh, this one has to be my favorite. Um, I really enjoyed uh, the performances by the actors in this. Um, let me see. Yeah, we've got. Um, Sarah Pauly, Vig Rames, um, and uh, Jake Weber, and uh, Mickey Pfeiffer, and uh, the music is done by Tyler Bates. Uh, Tyler Bates is, is really uh, famous as far as being a composer. He's done music for a lot of uh, different uh, movies and stuff like that. Um, but uh, this movie is excellent. Um, I I would go out on a limb and say that I believe that this movie is a step above the original, and the only reason why is because um, I I know people probably throw shit in my face for saying this, but you know I love the original. I own it on Blu-ray, but when you compare the two. Um, Dawn of the Dead, the original, is kind of, uh, to me, it doesn't hold up very well. It's kind of, um, I don't know, I when I watched it, I, I got like uh, an overwhelming sense of that they were trying to be uh, almost comedic with it. You know, there, there was a lot of, um, there was like too much humor in it for me, is what I guess what I'm trying to say. And... Uh, I prefer this one because this one is not funny at all. It's a very dark and very dreary, depressing, you know, uh, a group of people make their last desperate stand against a zombie horde by holding up in a uh, deserted mall. And, um, in this film, there's nothing funny at all about that. I mean, it's you know, it's it's like it's like an Alamo scenario. And in the other movie, it was the same kind of scenario, but you know, the the, the music was kind of goofy. The um, the the guy, the the SWAT guy, the one that gets um, bit a few times, um, he eventually you know turns. But there's a scene where they're in the parking lot in the original when they're he's all we can take them, and he hops in the in this truck and he's hooping and hollering and laughing and carrying on like he's you know king shit or something you know and like I get I get it that that's a 70s film and that's the look and feel they were going for, but if you want a really dark and gritty interpretation of that that will like almost haunt you watch this this is really a dark film and um, uh, uh, that's why I believe that it's superior to the original um, that being said um, like I said there's great performances by all the actors um, the, there's a great uh, score and um, it's directed by um, the same guy that directed 300 if I if I'm not mistaken, um, hold on, hold on, yeah, his name is Zack Snyder, and um, this is one of Zack Snyder's best films, and um, the only thing in this film that was comedic at all was, um, I can think of two things, the first one being when they um, were on the rooftop playing Spot the Celebrity, um, that's what I call it. If you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then the other part was when um, 
the uh, two security guards were locked up in the security office and that guy Glenn I think that was his name was uh, talking to them uh, about something and if you've seen the movie you'll know what I'm talking about also that part was pretty funny um, but overall this film had a very dark dreary you know tone to it like it was a, a last desperate stand against this horde and, and uh, the ending really blew me away as well um, to be honest as predictable as movies are nowadays uh, the ending did surprise me quite a bit um, so uh, it, it it caught me off guard, and um, I just I really enjoyed this film. Like I I, I love zombie uh, films. Uh, they're probably my favorite, um, one of my most favorite genres within horror. But um, this film is out of all the zombie films, this is the one I go to most when people say, "Oh, uh, what." what uh, zombie film do you recommend um, this is always the first one that comes to mind and um, I remember watching this when it first came out and I was just blown away but this is a great film and by the way the blu-ray looks beautiful and um, you can get it pretty cheap now nowadays so um, eBay is the best bet but anyway the blu-ray is awesome it looks great it's got a lot of special features and um, this is the unrated director's cut and um, it, like I always say with other films the director's cut in this case does flesh out the story just a little bit more and um, it's really good so anyway this is my video for um, horoscope for this week zombie week and be on the lookout for the rest of the videos on the channel and I will see you guys later thanks